All right, what's up, fam? Chris one here, man, about to kick some facts about men. Um, I'm going to ask that you guys check me out over on League Logic. I'm going to leave that link below the video. If you guys hadn't got your copy of my new book, When Dads Cry, I'm going to leave that link at the bottom of the the video, uh, the bottom of the video, you guys can check that out. Uh, people, I do a three-hour morning show on League Logic from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you guys can get over there and check that out. I'm gonna leave that link below the video, broadcasting on the Block Talk Radio Network, so you can call in and, and put your two cents in. And um, I want to, I want to, I want to kick some facts about men. And uh, once again, if you're new to the channel, man, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. I definitely appreciate it. All right. Um, I want to kick some facts about men and say this. I'm 51 years old. And when... I woke up this morning, I ran in my head all the reasons as to why I'm single. And there was a common denominator in every situation. And that common denominator, appreciate those thumbs up, y'all. That common denominator is I gave too much of myself way too early. I gave too much of myself way too early. I gave the woman assurance way too early. I gave the women I gave the woman so much assurance she shut off. That's why all my relationships failed. That's the common denominator. That's the common denominator. Only to turn on the TV and look at first things first with Nick Carter and Jenna Wolf. I'm sorry, Nick Wright and Jenna Wolf. And they were saying that Jerry Jones gave Jason Garrett too much assurance too early. They never, that Jerry Jones never made Jason Garrett feel as though he was on the hot seat. And I said, well, what do you know? That's me. That's the reason why I'm single. I can blame it on a lot of things. That's the reason why ex-girlfriends came back. I got, I probably got the highest rate of girlfriends coming back thinking that they can get back with me. I probably got the highest rate. Here it is, I'm bragging about something that I should be ashamed of. And I say that because I am, I am love's guinea pig. Um, this week I was gonna go visit a friend. I was going to go visit a friend. And I woke up, to, I went to bed last night. Honestly, y'all, I didn't even sleep last night. I went to bed at three something this morning and got up about 5, 4, 55. I didn't even sleep this morning, last night. But I realized... that for next year this being December 30th I realize for next year I need not care about nobody love needs to come and kick my door down I am great and people that meet me they know that women that meet me they know that they know that when I tell them about me, they know that. The problem is, I don't make them earn it. I don't.
bad, Chris. I don't. I don't. I don't. I got the. I, I realize that. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running back in my head. My ex-wife making all these stabs at me in 2012, 2013, 14, 15, and then not 16, but 2017, and then I finally cut it off. And, and at the end of 2017, I realized that that does, that says a lot about how easy I am. That's all that does. That's all that does. That says nothing but support the fact of how, you know what? You want to throw two minutes of attention to somebody and get a hundred minutes worth of his time? Chris is the man. Chris is the man. I am going to focus on my... I'm really... Like I never did before. I'm taking my mindset back to when I was 15 and 16. When I was saving up money to buy my Cadillac. I was 17. I brought my Cadillac. January 29th. I brought my Cadillac. January 29th. 1987. I brought my car. I was only 17 years old. And I brought a fucking Cadillac. Only three years old. I brought a Cadillac. My mom and my dad couldn't believe it. How you gonna, my mom says, how you gonna pay for that? I said, Ma, I pay cash for it. Why? Because I was hungry as a kid, as a little boy to transition into a man. And the problem with me is, I've been throwing the wrong crap out there for advertisement. That's on me. Loves guinea pig. Loves guinea pig the name's Chris pleased to meet you I quit though I quit dead dad I quit I quit not doing it no more You know, when I, I, I think about my mindset today, on December 30th, 2019, I think about the spinners. It takes a fool to learn that love don't love nobody. And this, this isn't a love perspective. It's a, you, you're, you're all by yourself. Another year went by and you're still by yourself. Because I'm love's guinea pig. Every time I meet a woman, I got to hear all these reasons why we can't hook up. All I need is a woman. I don't need a woman. I, I, I don't know how many times I've said this. I don't need a woman with a fucking job. My standards are low and I still am love's guinea pig. You know why? Because a woman know she can check in with me on Tuesday and say, I like you. I like you. I like you too. Let's hook up. Okay. Okay. Um hanging the phone up and then go fuck with four or five other guys seven or eight or nine months later call me up hit me up with another five minutes ah uh, you so you're so smart i like you uh well let's hook up okay um uh let me uh, i gotta get my hair done next week and then we'll talk about it click loves guinea pig i need i simply need a woman to manage me that doesn't take a fucking job i simply need a woman to say baby you I, I tell every woman this baby it's 11 30 at night please come in the house love me i'm not that doesn't take money loves guinea pig loves guinea pig i can be the smartest person in the world, I'm by myself. Loves guinea pig. I sat in my house last night and I joined a dating site.
it was damn near a fucking call girl service dating site. I'm even gonna say the fucking name. Loves guinea pig. Cause I have to sit back and 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 and, and, and what I realize is that I give myself too easily. I'm not doing that no more. If a person say to me, you're, you're a nice guy, you're a beautiful guy, you're smart, appreciate it. So how's your dog doing? Woo! I am gonna start off 2019, I'm sorry, 2020 on a good foot. Appreciate those thumbs up, y'all. And this, like I said, I did, I did a mental scan. This is why Crystal Holman, this is why she came back down here uh, last year, uh, 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 two times last year, one time this year, and hit me off with a suck special. Why? She said, you know what? In order to get Chris back, all I got to do is come down there. I got to come all the way down to Virginia. Because with Chris, all you got to do is feed him a little bit of love, and he'll give you the world. Why? Because she, she hit me off with that before. I moved in with her, gave her all this power, moved out of my house. Dig, dig, dig how dumb I was for love. I moved out of my house that I owned into a girl that was renting an apartment. If she was so much for me, she would have said, well, hell, you're going to be my man. You're going to be my husband. We need to move in your house and we're going to grow and we're going to do that. We're going to, it was all about, well, I'm gaming you. So game doesn't say I give you the power. Game says you come and move in with me. So I keep the power. Love's guinea pig. But I've learned. I've learned. I've learned. I'll catch you guys on the next one.